Okay, we're at the National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky, and I'm speaking with Jacob Holsey, who is a product marketing specialist with Yanmar. And, and you've got a really something kind of unique here that we're going to talk about. You've got hay equipment for compact tractors. Tell us where that came from. Yeah, we do, Mike. Thanks for asking. Uh, this this hay equipment is a, a small baler that we've got from a, a company over in Japan, uh, Yanmar being a, an old Japanese, uh, very reliable company. It was easy for us to uh, partner with this. Um, but it's just a, a small compact hay baler that we're hoping to introduce to the North American market and hoping that it uh, is, is received well and uh, takes off pretty quick. You know, the people that watch my channel are, are by and large weekend farmers, and I get people all the time that buy a compact tractor and want to bale hay. And usually, uh, the tractor they purchased, while it seemed big to them, was way, way too small to do what they wanted to do. What are we talking horsepower-wise on this machine? Well, you're absolutely right. And horsepower-wise, uh, for the, the tractor, we've used our 424 uh, with Yanmar, which is just a 24 horsepower uh, tractor, and it's about a 19 horsepower PTO, and that runs this baler perfectly. And we've realized that a lot of those customers you're talking about, they, they do get a tractor and they want to uh, bale their hay, and they realize a lot of the big balers either they don't fit their tractor that they've purchased or they can't afford it because they're twenty to thirty thousand dollars for a baler so we have an affordable option for them uh, where they don't have to wait on somebody to come cut their hay they don't have to buy hay from somewhere else that they're not sure where it came from they can really grow a specialized product for their livestock that they have whether it be cattle or horses or or any number of livestock options and they can cut it at the optimum time and they can bail it and this baler makes a, a size that is manageable uh, no matter how weak you are. If you're weak as I am or strong as you, you can move this, you can move this bell around pretty easily. You can throw the bells uh, in the loader uh, bucket of the tractor that you, that you have purchased, or you can uh, move it around, throw it on a utility trailer and haul it to the barn you know, all at once. Similar as what you would do with a square bell, but it's just a little bit lighter. Alrighty, and, and how, what's what's the bale weigh? What what size is it? You can make it at 25 pounds to 65 pounds. This baler does have a density setting on it, uh, so you can really manage it to to whatever best suits you and your needs and what you're capable of, of handling. It's going to make a round bale, and 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 to get them on a trailer and stack them. How's that work? Uh, do you think of a honeycomb? You know, kind of a you know hexagon kind of fits together nice and. Uh, if you were stacking big round bales in a barn, you could stack. It's just a smaller concept, uh, so it, you would stack them uh, just like you would the big ones, just kind of a square size. All righty, and you're also offering a, a disc mower right. and and a rake. Am I right to go with that? Tell us about them. Yeah. So our, our rake and disc mower are actually a package combo whenever we introduce this later on in the year uh, to the North American market. Um, it's a dual drum disc mower. Uh, it's two discs and it's got three knives on each disc and that mower will fly as, as fast as you want to go. It'll knock down the grass and be making hay literally. Uh, the rake is a three-in-one uh, tether rake. Uh, it's got a tether, a rake, a spreader, and then a transport mode also. Um, but you can flip your windrow down uh, if you're wanting to. If you're ready to make your windrows, you can flip it up if you're needing to spread it to help the hay dry. Because uh, you, you don't want to bell wet hay um, because then it'll mildew, and that's that's not good for for anybody, especially your livestock. And I would say your main target with this is a really small producer, maybe horse people. May, horse people uh, always seem like they are a lot more uh, particular about what they give give their horses, and uh, so now they can they can actually plant the hay that they want instead of just letting kind of Mother Nature decide for them. They can they can plant 10, 20 acres or smaller if they want to, uh, just depending on what their needs are. And this this baler is not new. I mean, it's been out. Yeah, it's, it's really accepted a lot globally, and we're just kind of introducing that, that global uh, product that's already out there into the North American market. All righty. We wish you the best of luck with the new product. Thanks, Dr. Mike. <laughs> hey, I appreciate you watching my videos. I'd be honored if you'd share this video with other tractor enthusiasts and like my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And, hey, if you got questions or comments, put them below. We'll try to answer them. Hey, thanks for watching.